I ain't gonna take it no more. I ain't gonna take it no more. I ain't gonna stand idly by while the bridal reply of a marriage of styles is, yeah, but what's their demographic? I ain't gonna take it no more. I ain't gonna take it no more. I ain't gonna stand idly by with a tight and a sigh while inside we all cry out for something new. I ain't gonna take it no more. I ain't gonna take it no more. Soulless music, artless lyrics. Goalless movements, heartless gimmicks, controlled and clueless, careers last in a minute. If this is the big life, well, I ain't looking to live it. We ain't pushing the boundaries, we're blowing them up. We ain't trying to expand the scene, we want the scene to erupt. So make some room on the floor and somebody bolt the doors, because tonight, we ain't seeking applause. Tonight, well, gee. Just want to have some good new fashion fun, y'all. When we first met, now that I've heard it. These never kind of regret, and I suspect, but we left a lot of people upset. This is the beat that my heart sits when we first met, and I've heard it. These never kind of regret, and I suspect, but we left a lot of people upset. We had it wasn't really what we come to expect. Beat that my heart sits when we first met, and I've heard it. These never kind of regret, and I suspect, but we left a lot of people upset. We had it wasn't really what we come to expect. We now and then I cow and I need to find empowerment. Empowerment is paramount to how I can begin to match. Man, I can implement to make it. Is it meant to be a hole in their defenses? Beauty and their innocence. Sensible wits inspire all my good sense to beat them. 
that my heart skips. This is the beat that my heart skips. But what am I supposed to do? What? Come on, man. Alright, man. Alright, how about this? I remember hearing most deaf rhyme the alphabet. I just sat there in silence as a sign of respect. I knew what I had to do, and that's what happened next. I run the periodic table to stay one step ahead. See, in the periodic table, hydrogen's number one. Because hydrogen is what puts the shine in the sun through nuclear fusion. And when it's done, it leaves element number two helium. Helium's the second lightest gas that there is. So we use it in balloons we give to little kids. Then there's lithium, often used to treat metal problems. Beryllium don't conduct electric currents, it stops them. Boron can be used to make things harden, and that smoke coming out of your exhaust? Carbon. Carbon's arguably the most important element, and nitrogen's in the air at almost 80%. The rest of the air is mainly oxygen, and fluorine is the lightest of the halogens. Okay, that's enough teaching. I ain't trying to bore ya. I'm trying to be a positive role model for you Cause in my town, I'm blessed with many role models So many that sometimes the mind just bogs See, KRS is my teacher, slick bricks my ruler Chuck D's my bridge, I'm just a preschooler I still got growing to do though, I ain't trying to fool you But compared to all the other kids in my class, I'm much taller I'm much taller There's a way over me today Something I have to say Love you too much to leave Don't like you enough to stay
love, it's a weird thing ain't it, there's no way to explain it, but I swear as well as pain there should be joy but we sustain the same level of mundane and it's numbing me through, I often wonder if I'd miss you and still have the urge to kiss you, if an issue was to hit through to this heart that now feels tissue and said issue was too big to just ignore, and I whipped out on you, the chances are I'd fall apart, suffer seizures of the heart as my chest begins to smile, the very second I'd depart I want to go back to the start but then again, maybe I'd just feel new. Great as you can see, so I'll keep thinking this through. There's a weight over me today, something I have to say.
wait Why I'm saying this out loud Am I convincing myself or pandering to the crowd? You can hear every word You would still never know me Like Sean Penn could win 10 Oscars It'll still be super cold singing about being beautiful or someone or something being beautiful. Now, I know this ain't a new thing, but it just feels as if these people don't really know what beauty is and by banding it around so often it starts to lose all meaning and worth. You see, beauty and beautiful are powerful words. It's more than just a physical thing. It's more than just a nice pair of tits. Bring the beat and let me tell them what I think beauty is. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder I was lucky enough to be near So I told the fire Early enough I missed the freckles on the shoulder And the even on the hottest of nights The skin was colder Beauty's in the eye of the beholder I was lucky enough to be near So I told the fire Early enough I missed the freckles on the shoulder And the even on the hottest of nights The skin was colder Now for me to get my definition of beauty across to you I must request your attention for the immediate future Won't take the longest to put you in a catatonic stupor So I present my case study example Tommy Cooper, if you haven't heard of Tommy, I'll do my best to explain. Tommy Cooper was in the entertainment game. Every granddad in Britain could do a Tommy Cooper impression with a selection of gags and movements and facial expressions. His uniform was a suit and a red fez hat. He would combine drugs and magic tricks just like that. He'd drift between the two with the most can hand transition. He was two part comedian, one part magician. Mistakes and mess up to a big part of his show, which were real and which were planned only he would know. If he messed up or a certain joke bombed, he'd just start laughing at himself and soon the laughs would catch on. See, Tommy gave no regard to class or race. His only goal was to put a smile on every single face. All his life Tommy lived just to make people laugh. Whether on stage or at home, he'd just be acting dark. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I was lucky enough to be near, so I told the fire. Early enough, I missed the freckles on the shoulder. And the even on the hottest of nights, the skin was colder. In the eye of the beholder, I was lucky enough to be near, so I took the fun. Early enough, I missed the freckles on the shoulder, and the even on my hottest and nice skin was cold. Whether it appropriate or not, became somehow unconnected because making people laugh was his only objective. But there's one thing in life no man can avoid this thing will leave the hearts of loved ones empty and void. Death will always cause hurt and pain. It can take weeks before a smile's on your face again. Sure, when reminiscing, there can be great happiness, but in the immediate time there's searing pain and nothing less. On April 15th, 1984, the London Palladium was the scene of Tommy's show once more. It was a full house, he had the crowd eating out of his hand. Everything as usual seemed completely unplanned. In what seemed like a finale, Tommy dropped to the floor, causing the room to erupt in laughter and applause. Curtains closed, lights went out, there was no encore. Everybody left their seats and headed for the door. Unbeknownst to them, they had witnessed Tommy Cooper's death. He had given his all until he had nothing left. Now please note, at the moment this entertainer died, even with a room full of people, not one tear was cried. Much less they rose to their feet and they laughed and clapped. Now tell me one fucking thing that's more beautiful than that. Cause I'm sure I can't think of one. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I was lucky enough to be near, so I told the fun. Lily enough, I missed the freckles on the shoulder. And the even on the hottest of nights, the skin was cold Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I was lucky enough to be near, so I told the fun. Lily enough, I missed the freckles on the shoulder. And the even on the hottest of nights, the skin was cold out. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I was lucky enough to be near, so I told the fun.
Scribbis Pip, uh, what's your opinion of UK hip hop? Uh, well, I, you know, I don't, I don't think there's that much going on. There's some, there's some great stuff. Don't get me wrong. There's some amazing artists, but a lot of people are just doing the same thing over and over again. It just gets a bit monotonous. It messed the beat up and shows what you think, Dan Lassac. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha ha! Dan Lassac, Scroobius Pip, fixing hip hop as best we can. Hip hop is art. I make another pop hit. Be smart. Take it back to the start, like how I and rock him, use passion and heart. Hip hop is art. I make another pop hit. Be smart. Take it back to the start, like how I and rock him, use passion and heart. Now don't get me wrong, I ain't dissing Dizzy Russell. I'm just using this beat as a single example. It was the first big hit of its kind in the pop charts, pulled a lot of shit with profit in mind, not hard. Channel U's full of. Think they should all have. About like they're the next big thing Cause their cousin's got an agent They made Daryl can sing These kids getting above their station and saying They're a vessel for which a higher power's conveying My lyrical content is a miracle god So my name is Scroobius Pip I say fuck all that nonsense Their lyrical prognosis is like spiritual osmosis In that everything they say evaporates into both It's a joke I'm not snuck I'll even find one quote worth using as a reference Or even as a footnote Most these kids can get their guns out and kill me But how many got the skill to inspire and thrill me? I got a holster, I keep biscuits in it She wears into your brain, leaving big fat blisters in it Who am I better than? I'm better than I used to be I'ma keep on getting better, so you better just get used to me You think that's a cop out? You hear my point truthfully, cause chances are This is how you should be If your only goal's to be as good as Scrooby's Pip Then as soon as you achieve that, your stands will slip If your only goal is always to improve on yourself Then the quest is never over, no matter how big you want Yeah! Hip hop is art I make another pop hit, be smart Take it back to the start like how I and rock him Use passion and heart Hip hop is art I make another pop hit, be smart Take it back to the start like how I and rock him Use passion and heart Hip hop is art I make another pop hit, be smart Take it back to the start like how I and rock him Use passion and heart Hip hop is art I make another pop hit, be smart Take it back to the start like how I and rock him
a racist But one reached out their hands, I declined the embrace I want security in a shop, charge of five other guards I got all their respects, I run this shit hard Only one kid today, didn't show enough respect and attention So I grabbed him by his neck, that's my form of redemption Do no real harm, just make sure that it hurts It ain't going by the book, but believe me it works Then I sent him on his way, this little shit knows the score now I see a little bit of fear, he won't darken my door now That's what I do, stop these kids from declining Do what their parents wouldn't do, put down some boundaries and lines since I was three. Mum died when I was born and dad takes it out on me. He ain't a bad man. He just gets drunk and feels alone. I tend to go for a walk and hope he's asleep when I get home. Don't like to talk about it though. As I said, it ain't his fault. It only happens when he's drunk as a last resort. Wanted to get him a gift to show my support, but I had no money and I stole it and I guess I got caught at times like that. I tend to switch off my mind, stare blankly into space and let what happens on mine. That seemed to anger this guard. He put his hands around my neck, said it's time for me to learn some manners and respect. It hurt. But I've had worse before, but it made me realise life was just a series of wars. I went straight home that day and locked the bathroom door. Took a blade to both wrists, they won't hurt me no more. a letter from God to man. It says, hey there, how's it going? Long time no see. Yeah, I know I haven't been around much lately, but it didn't seem like you wanted me to be. <laughs> the last time I sent down a message, you nailed it to the cross, so I figured I'd just leave you to it, let you be your own boss, but I've been keeping an eye on you, I have, and it's amazing how you've grown. With your technological advances and the problems you've overthrown, all the beautiful art you've created with such grace and such finesse, but I must admit there are a few things I'm afraid have impressed me less. So I'm writing to apologise for horrors committed in my name, although well, that was never what I intended. I feel I should take my share of the blame. Not the good I've tried to was corrupted when organised religion get into full swing. What I thought was quite clear messages were taken to unusual extremes. My teachings were taken out of context to meet the agendas of others. Interpretations taken in different ways, hidden meanings discovered. Religion became a tool for the weak to control the strong. With all these new morals and ethics, survival of the fittest was gone. No longer could the biggest man simply take whatever he needed, cause damnation was the price. If certain rules were not heeded, some of the deeds committed in my name made me wonder I went wrong. Back at the start when I created this, the foundation seemed so strong. See, all the elements were already here. Long before I began, I just kind of put them all together. I didn't really think out a long-term plan. I made the sun an appropriate distance, laid the stars across the sky, so you could navigate this globe, or watch the sunrise. I covered the earth with plants and fruit, some for sustenance, some for beauty. When the sun shine and clouds rain, so their maintenance wasn't your duty. Try to give these creatures your own attributes, without making them enveloped. Gave you all your own space to grow, in your own way space to develop. I didn't know that such developments were called rifts and jealousy, called you to war against each other. Leave marks this planet indelibly. You see, I wasn't the creator, I was more the curator of nature. And I'm stepping straight with homosexuals right now. I don't hate ya. I was a simple being that happened to be the first to use such powers. But I just laid the ground. It was you to build the towers. It was you that invented bombs and the fear that comes with them. It was you that invented money. 
It's tragic, you try to cut yourself in half, but this ain't magic. In fact, it's something far more dark and more dramatic. Self-harm, that's what they call it, because it just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But how about your little sister? I mean, you think your life's been bad. And by no means am I belittling that, because I know the troubles you've had. But a teen finding out her big sister chose death over life. Finding out instead of turning to her with your problems, you turn to a knife. That's a whole lot of pain to deal with and a whole lot of damage and the only role model she has now is little more than words engraved in granite but as you said before this just affects you it's your life your body so you can choose what you do and if one day you can't rein it in and of your last breath you are the only witness then so be it because it's your last breath and it's nobody else's business but then how about your parents God knows they've done all they can to support. Yeah, you didn't grow up in a mansion, but they gave you the best life they could afford. And the second that last bit of life trickles out and your lungs cease to breathe, they've failed the most important task that they will ever receive. They've failed to give their child a life that's worth living. And that's a failure that as long as they live of themselves is unforgiving. But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But how about your friends? How did they fail to see this coming? I mean, you can only hold so much pain, and recently it seems like the tap's been left running. Families grow distant, but it's meant to be your friends you can rely on. They shouldn't just be there for fun and drinks. They should be the shoulder to cry on. They should be the ones you turn to when you can't talk to your family. But they have failed too, because although you didn't ask for it, their support should have been mandatory. But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath, and it's nobody else's business. But then, what about me? What kind of boyfriend am I? Instead of living a life I was a big part of, you would rather die. Instead of fighting through together, and turning things around, you decided the grass was greener on the other side of the ground. Of our shared lives, there was nothing worth living for as far as you could see. So if that's the case for you, then what is there left in this life for me? But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, your sister, your parents, your friends and your partner. So you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then fuck everybody else, because that ain't something that you've got to live with. The magician's assistant. Too many problems to listen. Not enough people to listen. The magician's assistant. Oh, 
a rental after some self control. When you lose your mind is when you start to find your soul on This morning when I woke up, all the pause that I had just broke up. Ran back some dreams of it choked up. Just memories I pressed or spoke up. Well, I fought for something that I wasn't expecting. Once in the battles I asked me questions. Deeper I looked till the hate filled eyes. Who is you only in disguise? So I jumped to my feet. How the fuck I become so weak? Too soon I admit defeat. Got the pedestal I ride to the beat. And I'll roll when I get back from hell again. I'm gonna be so elegant. The relevance of my benevolence is evident. You can't just drop out But I'm telling you man It's hard to block out The sound that rebels and resounds and resounds again Off the walls of my mind Cause I miss my friend But now I'm on a mission to mend They think the broke may listen again Strip down, design, construct and improve Where the rest of us late I'll be making my move Hope you just come up elevated But chances are I'll be inebriated But that's cool As long as the rain ain't stayed The things I've learned have been erased and wasted When you forget about a handy deal What really matters is the things you've felt So fuck it, bring on the good and bad times Rapping the worst out of band of minds When you forget about a handy deal all that really matters the things you felt So fuck it, bring on the good and bad times Rapping the worst out of band of minds when, when I get back from hell again I'm gonna be so elegant The relevance of my benevolence is evident When I get back from hell again I'm gonna be so elegant The relevance of my benevolence is evident When I get back from hell again I'm gonna be so elegant The relevance of my benevolence is evident When I get back from hell again I'm gonna be so elegant The relevance of my benevolence is evident When I get back from hell again Just a band, Led Zeppelin, just a band, the Beach Boys, just a band, the Sex Pistols, just a band, the Clash, just a band, Crass, just a band, Minor Threat, just a band, the Cure, just a band, the Smiths, just a band, Nirvana, just a band, the Pixies, just a band, Oasis, just a band, Radiohead, just a band, Block Party, just a band, the Arctic Monkeys, just a band, the next big thing, just a band, that should give equal words to tragedy that occur in non-English speaking countries as to those that occur in English speaking countries. Let's remember the guns, bitches and bling were never part of the four elements and never will be. That should not make repetitive generic music. 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 That should not be my ride. That should not scream if you want to go faster. That should not move to the sound of the wickedness. That 
Thou shalt always Thou shalt always Kill each of us says, I'll tell you now is true, whether or not you take that advice is for you to choose. At that point he acted like someone had whispered in his ear, which since no one else was there was pretty damn weird. Awkwardly I looked away and kinda played with my beard. He cleared his throat for a second and then said, listen here, in this life you could be oh so smart or oh so pleasant. For years I was smart, I recommend pleasant. Being smart can make you rich and bring respect and reverence, but the rewards of being pleasant are far more incandescent. With this information I was encouraged to walk on. I continued alone through these empty streets, thinking over what I would have said, but at the same time thinking about how fucking strange the day had been so far. I was in my own little world when a hand was placed on my chest, and a guy said, look out, there's some broken glass on the floor there. I looked up. He said, hi, pleased to meet you, my name is Lloyd Dobler, I'll get straight to the point, won't take too much time from you, I'm probably the youngest person you'll get advice from today, and you may think a guy my age wouldn't have anything to say, but it's said that of 
observation that old age brings wisdom and I observe every single life lesson I'm given. I won't attempt to tell you about how to love or be loved because you get a different genie each time that lantern is rubbed but I will offer you advice on dealing with life. It's ups and it's downs, it's troubles and it's strife. Now I'm sure you've had times you felt down and angry. You wanted to lash out, punch a wall and be manly. But the question I pose now will offer you a plan B and maybe some peace and quiet for your friends and family. How hard is it to decide to be in a good mood and then just be in a good mood? That's all I have to say because it's a straight up fact. You control your emotions, it's as simple as that. He walked off then, leaving me to contemplate this brief encounter. I'd barely had time to realise I was being taught something before he was gone. And I was back on my way. On I walked and almost immediately I spotted the next guy and it couldn't be clearer. This guy was standing on the street corner pacing back and forth. Skinny looking guy, leather jacket, tight jeans, retro look. I've rarely seen someone look quite so uncomfortable in their own skin. Twitching, smoothing his hair back, kicking the floor, looking up and down the street. He clearly didn't enjoy waiting around so I approached him quickly to put him out of his misery and to let him start his spiel. Hi, my name is Billy Brown. I ain't gonna give you some quote. Instead, I'm gonna use some stuff that you wrote. Always at the feeling I can never be the villain Cause the villain in the films is always back lit Always at the feeling I can never be the villain Cause the villain in the films is always back lit Now I find it pleasing to defend myself with reason But this clock is always sitting on my back Tick, tick, tick Then, no explosion but persistence brings erosion Like a picture over overly exposed and Like a fox that's been run over in the road and road and Basically what I'm trying to say to you is You don't achieve anything by letting the past dwell within you Getting all pent up and angry about stuff just eats away inside you. What's that other line of yours? If you can't forgive and forget, how's this? Forget forgiving and just accept, then that's it. See, that's how it's gotta be. Then you can fall in love, get on with your life and be free. Almost before he'd even finished that sentence, he was off down the street, hands in his pockets, hurrying away. Now quite accepted the totally surreal time I was having, I rounded the corner and continued on to my next encounter. Resigned to the fact this was some kind of dream or hallucination, I made my way through the now dark street to the one window that had a light on. I walked through the unlocked door which incidentally had blinds down and a silhouetted figure like a film noir scene but sadly no sign saying private eye. As I entered a voice promptly said, This journey's almost over, I'm the only one left. Allow me to introduce myself, my name is Walter Neff. The other guys have taught you things of great positive worth but I'm afraid I'm here to bring you back down to earth so you can live your life in control and be nice but even that will not promise you a happy life you may think yourself in general to be a nice guy but I'm telling you now, that right there is a lie even the nicest of guys are some nasty with villain you don't have to be backlit to be the villain whether it be greed, lust or just plain vindictiveness there's a level of malevolence inside of all of us you can paint yourself an image of living your own little dream but this ain't the dream, it's one big silver screen so when you think you've got your happy ending don't ever a long day and work has been stressful as she arrives home to me weary and restful she's had such a long day and work has been stressful as she arrives home to me 
weary and restful to relax her i lead her to lay on the bed and remove all the clothes from her waist to her head to relax her i lead her to lay on the bed and remove all the clothes from her waist to her head my thumbs gently knead the base of her back and my nails trace patterns not leaving a scratch my thumbs gently knead the base of her back and my nails trace patterns not leaving a scratch my hands plot a wandering route up her spine then onto her shoulders to help her unwind my hands plot a wandering route up her spine and then onto her shoulders to help her unwind i pray the emotions taking effect as i lay a kiss upon the nape of her neck i pray the emotions taking effect as i lay a kiss upon the nape of her neck she rolls onto her back her eyes squinted and dreamy as i gaze at her smile and the beauty beneath me she rolls onto her back her eyes squinted and dreamy as i gaze at her smile and the beauty beneath me i gently lean forward presenting a kiss onto the lips so long i have missed i gently lean forward presenting a kiss onto the lips so long i have missed when our eyes meet like this and it's just like before we both instantly realize we need nothing more when our eyes meet like this and it's just like before we both instantly realize we need nothing more i adjust to rest upon her sweet breast and on her torso more so i adjust to rest upon her sweet breast and on her torso more so in each other's arms and with interlocked hands lay two smiling faces and one set of plans in each other's arms and with interlocked hands lay two smiling faces and one set of plans in each other's arms and with interlocked hands lay two smiling faces and one set of plans in each other's arms and with interlocked hands lay two smiling faces and one set of plans in each other's arms and with interlocked hands lay two smiling faces and one set of plans